return from a lunch break and discover that someone has stolen $30 from your bag. There are four suspects, Mila, Henry, Jackson, and Victoria. When you ask them about the money, Mila replies she hasn't taken it. Henry says he's pretty sure Jackson's got the money. Jackson shouts, no way, Henry's lying. And Victoria claims Mila's telling the truth. Only one of these people isn't lying. Who stole your money? It's Mila. She, Henry, and Victoria are lying, while Jackson's telling the truth. If anyone else had taken your $30, there would be more than one person telling the truth. How can you get from 98 to 720 just by using one letter? Add the letter X between 90 and 8. You'll get 90 times 8 equals 720. The owner of the restaurant, Vegan Paradise, called the police. He was in a panic. Someone has attacked our chef! He was taken to a hospital several minutes ago. Our rivals must have sent someone to ruin my business! When the police officers came to the restaurant, they learned that three people had been in the staff area during the accident. The first cook was cutting onions when the chef was hurt. He told the police his vision had been blurred because of the tears and he hadn't seen anything. The second cook was peeling shrimp when the accident happened. He said he'd been listening to music through his earphones and he hadn't heard anything. The third person, a waitress, claimed she had been serving lemonade outside. Who's lying? The second cook attacked the chef. Shrimps in a vegan restaurant? Really? And how fast will you find the answer to this riddle? It equals 4. Cat equals 6. Time equals 8. Hippo equals 10. Cheetah equals... The answer is 14. Each letter equals 2. Brenda was traveling by train. It was scorching hot in the carriage. The girl took off her gold bracelet decorated with diamonds and put it on the table in front of her. Several minutes later, the train entered a tunnel and it got pitch dark. When the tunnel was left behind, there was no bracelet on the table. Brenda was shocked. Someone's taken my bracelet! There were just three other people in the compartment. Helen said she'd been sleeping. Rachel was reading a book on her phone and Gregory had gone to the bathroom even before the train entered the tunnel. Who took the bracelet? It was Helen. Before she had her sleeves rolled up, but now they cover her arms down to the wrists, hiding the bracelet. What usually happens with plants in math classrooms? They grow square roots. A man walked into a room and saw three doors. The first one had a sign which read, To the Swamps. On the second door, there was a note, Lion's Den. The third door didn't have any sign, but the man knew for sure where it led. How? It was the door he had entered through. A baby giraffe doubled in height every month till it reached its dad's size. It took 10 months. How many months did it take the baby giraffe to grow half its current height? Nine months. Now, have a look at these two guys. What do you think? Who will not survive? Most likely the guy on the left. His slingshot sure can cause some harm to the guy on the right, but he'll definitely survive. But should he step off the wooden board, the other guy will immediately fall into an abyss. A rich man, Mr. Thomas Green, 
disappeared right from his home. The detective assigned to this case found a note at the crime scene. It read, 1st of January, 4th of October, 5th of March, 3rd of June. The detective guessed that the criminal's name was hidden in the note. The suspects were Jack Green, the rich man's son and heir, June Green, the man's wife, and John Jacobson, Mr. Green's employee. The detective deduced the name of the culprit in no time. Can you do the same? These dates supposedly stand for the letters you need in the words. For example, means the first letter of the word January, J, and so on. It turns out John Jacobson has something to do with Mr. Green's disappearance. Try to crack this one. Pote, o o o o o o o o That's pot eight o's, which is potatoes. One end, three end, five end, seven end. This rebus hides odds and ends. Knee friended, what can it mean? It's a friend in need. A student put his final exam paper into the pile of other students' papers. The professor told him, I saw you were cheating on the exam. You'll get an automatic fail. Strangely, the student just walked away. When the exam scores were announced, he found out he had an A. How come? The professor didn't know who the student was. That's why he graded his paper just like anyone else's. You're playing table tennis when your ball falls into a one-foot deep narrow metal pipe sticking out of the concrete floor. How can you get the ball out of the pipe if all you have is your tennis paddle, a plastic bottle filled with water, and your shoelaces? Pour the water from your bottle into the hole and the ball will rise to the surface. You have an equation made of matchsticks. 6 plus 4 equals 4. Move just one matchstick to make it true. You need to take one matchstick from the plus sign and add it to the 6 so it makes 8. Then you'll have 8 minus 4 equals 4. Once, a famous young singer, Brianna, who recorded her first album only a half a year ago, was invited to perform at a concert. But when it was her turn to sing, Brianna didn't appear on the stage. She was found unconscious on the floor in her dressing room. When the police arrived, they questioned three other singers who had to perform that day. Camila said, I'm new to show business, so I came up to Brianna to ask for some advice. But I didn't hit her. Scarlett exclaimed, my younger brother is Brianna's fan. He's been listening to her for years. I've even taken her photograph from him. And Sophia told the police, I didn't even see Brianna. I was too nervous before going on stage to leave my dressing room. Who hit Brianna? It was Scarlett. She said her brother had been Brianna's fan for years, but the singer recorded her first song only six months ago. I'll give you three clues, and your task is to find a four-digit number. Its first digit is useless. The second and fourth digits are mirror images of each other. And the third digit is half the second. This number is 0848. Zero is the number of no use. Eight mirror each other, and four is half of eight. It's rarely touched, but often held. And if you're smart, you'll use it well. What is it? It's your tongue. 
two planes took off at the same moment. They both had to fly across the Atlantic, but one plane departed from New York and headed for Paris, and the other left Paris and flew to New York. The first plane's speed was 650 miles per hour, and the other one was moving at a speed of 700 miles per hour. Which plane was closer to Paris when they met? They were both the same distance from Paris since they met in the same place. Your company produces shoes and has two factories in different cities. The workers of both factories steal shoes. You can't use any additional security, but you have to make it stop. How can you do it? One factory should start making only left shoes and the other only right ones. Kitty entered a bookstore to get some art supplies. At one point, she met an elf and accidentally stepped on his foot. Ow! The elf got very angry and teleported her to his fairy world. He said, I'm Noah. Welcome to my world, you ill-mannered lady. If you can solve all my riddles, I'll help you find your way home. But if you don't, you'll turn into a tree and stay in this enchanted forest forever. So here comes the first riddle. Jen and Dobby have four daughters, and each of the daughters also has a brother. How many people are there in the family? Kitty cracked this riddle easily. What about you? The correct answer is seven. Noah took Kitty to the elf village. There they met Mr. Rosberry. He was very upset. Someone had stolen all berries from his trees. Noah suggested Kitty should find the thief. She questioned four suspects. Alice said, I'm allergic to berries and stay away from them. Mia said that she'd been busy all morning helping her granny pick apples in her garden. Javier confessed that he had been on a secret date. He refused to reveal the name of his girlfriend. And Fiona said, Are you kidding? I love my manicure too much to spoil it by picking berries. So, who's the thief? Alice. She's eating strawberry ice cream, which means she lied about her allergy. Next, Noah took Kitty for a walk through a magic field. There are 50 cows in this field, and 28 chickens. How many didn't? Kitty figured this riddle out immediately. What about you? The correct answer is 30. It's a play on words. 20 cows ate chickens, which means that 30 cows didn't. The guy's next stop was a jewelry store. The local jeweler, Jonas, had just finished making a beautiful diamond necklace. He put it on the window so that everyone could admire his masterpiece and left for lunch. But when he returned, the necklace was gone. Surprise, surprise. Kitty questioned three suspects. The jeweler's assistant, David, said, I was cleaning silver in the next room and didn't hear anyone enter the store. Billy, who owned a chocolate store one floor below, said, I've spent the entire day with my wife. We've been celebrating our 15th anniversary. And Nina, the cleaning lady, said, I've been cleaning the roof and singing when the crime happened. I didn't hear anything. Who's the thief? Billy. Look at his selfie with his wife. She's wearing the stolen necklace. Okay, but how did he steal it? He has a book, Magic Portals, on the shelf in his store. A postman found an elderly stargazer, Mr. Green, unconscious on the floor in his own house. Kitty questioned the key suspect, Mike. He was the only person who had been seen near Mr. Green's house the day before. Kitty asked him what he had been doing the previous night. Mike replied, I spent the whole evening helping my friend to build a house. We finished late at night. I was passing by Mr. Green's house on my way home. I looked into the window and saw him lying on the floor. I was shocked and called the police. 
Kitty inspected the house and told the officer to arrest Mike. Why? Mr. Green was found on the ground floor, but his house doesn't have any ground floor windows, which means Mike couldn't see anything through the window. Noah took Kitty to his garden. He said that elf gardens were a little different compared to human ones. Kitty noticed five weird details right away. Can you see them too? It's snowing, but the flowers are blooming. The trees don't cast any shadows, but Kitty does. The rainbow in the sky is upside down. All squirrels are wearing suits. They usually don't do that in human forests. And this butterfly is talking on the phone. Noah invited Kitty for dinner, but they gotta cook it first. He gave Kitty an old recipe and said she could find all the ingredients in the garden. But the recipe is coded with the help of these symbols. Can you help Kitty find all the ingredients? Here comes the first one. It's a potato, and it's hiding over here. Here's the second ingredient. Olives! They're growing over there. What about this puzzle? Any ideas? Cabbage! It's over there. Can you recognize this one? Coconut! Here it is. The next one. Can you crack it? Pineapple. Great job. What about this puzzle? It's a carrot. And since it's an elf's garden, Carrots are growing on trees. Can you crack this code? It's a peach, and Kitty can get it over there. Here comes the next ingredient. Any ideas? Pepper. It's over there. And last but not least, can you crack it? Broccoli. Great job! There's only one broccoli head in this garden, and it's hiding over there. After a delicious dinner, Noah offered Kitty to choose a guest room. He gave her three options, but only one of them was safe. Option number one, a soft bed in the attic. Here's the second option, a cozy sofa in the basement. And the third option is a hammock on an open balcony. Unfortunately, mutant mosquitoes arrive every night. Their poison is safe for elves, but not for humans. Which room should Kitty choose? Springs stick out of the first bed. That doesn't look safe. And the sofa is full of bed bugs. Probably not the best company for a sleepover. So Kitty should choose the hammock. She can use this mosquito net to hide from the annoying insects. Next morning, Noah had an appointment. He offered Kitty to meet later in a fancy elf cafe. Four waiters welcomed her when she arrived there. But one of them was fake. Can you guess who? See? This guy is a criminal. Noah was late, so Kitty ordered breakfast without him and went to the bathroom. The girl left her bag and her wallet on the table. Don't ask me why. When she came back, Noah was sitting at the table. 
Her food had arrived and her bag was still there. But the money was missing from her wallet. The restaurant security found three suspects. Noah said that he had just arrived. He hadn't seen anything suspicious. The waitress said, I brought the food, but I didn't touch the wallet. The cleaner said that she'd wiped the table, but hadn't touched the wallet. The guard found some fingerprints on the wallet, but they all belonged to Kitty. So, who stole the money? The cleaner! She had her gloves on! That's why she didn't leave any fingerprints. Kitty didn't have any elf money, so Noah offered to pay for her meal. But first, she had to crack this riddle. What begins with T, ends with T, and has T in it? Kitty solved this puzzle easily. What about you? The correct answer is a teapot. Kitty found a beautiful diamond tiara on the sink in the ladies' room while she was washing her hands. Three elves showed up to claim it. Jim said, This tiara belongs to my mother. We've been passing it on from generation to generation for ages. I noticed that it was gone after visiting the bathroom. Fiona said that she had won this tiara in a beauty contest. She even showed Kitty a picture. Jessica said, If this tiara is missing one small emerald, then it's mine. I lost the gem at a party last summer. Kitty gave the tiara to Jessica. Why? Well, Jim wouldn't have been allowed in the ladies' room. The stones in Fiona's tiara are blue, not green. And Jessica was the only one who knew about the defect. Kitty entered an elf gift store to get some souvenirs for her family. Three magic creatures entered the store after her. Everything was fine until, suddenly, Kitty heard a loud scream. She turned around and saw an elf lying face down on the table. She quickly called the police and reported the incident. An officer arrived and asked the other three customers what they'd been doing when they heard the scream. The goblin said, I was picking out postcards from the front display. The mermaid was chasing the perfect souvenir mug. She dropped it when she screamed. The pieces were still on the floor. And the wizard said, I was checking my horoscope on my phone. I'm a Venus by Zodiac, you know. My astrologist promised that today would be the most peaceful day of my life. Yeah, right. Can you help Kitty find the criminal? It's the wizard. Venus isn't an astrological sign. The police arrested the wizard. He got so mad at Kitty that he turned her into a frog. Noah tried all the spells from his books, but nothing helped. So he took Kitty to the jail to beg for the wizard's help. There, Noah saw two prisoners. He knew for sure that only one of them would manage to escape. Ooh. The second one, he has a spoon without a handle. He must have used it to make a knife to open the door. The wizard agreed to lift his spell, but he had one condition. The guys had to crack his riddle. How many months of the year have 28 days? Can you help Kitty out? The correct answer is all of them. Noah took Kitty to the local magic store. Kitty asked him what he wanted to buy. Noah answered this way. It's tall when it's young, and it's short when it's old. What is it? Have you guessed? It's a candle. Noah lit the candle and prepared to send Kitty back to the human world. But he had one last riddle for her. Kitty had to say a secret number code to get home. Here's a hint. The code contains three positive numbers. You can either add these numbers or multiply them. The result will be the same. What are these numbers?
the correct answer is 1, 2, and 3. Great job! Freddy is one lucky guy. He works at a chocolate factory as a night guard. Once, he was checking the factory as usual. He noticed that someone had stolen several boxes with exclusive chocolate candies. The next morning, Freddy questioned three suspects. Jason, a pastry cook, said that he'd finished his shift at 7 p.m. and gone home right away. His wife couldn't confirm that he stayed indoors all night. Harry, a delivery guy, said, I don't eat chocolate at all. Even the smell of it gives me a severe rash. And Peter, a cleaner, said, Yesterday, I was cleaning the warehouse. I found one chocolate candy on the floor and ate it. I'm so sorry. Please don't fire me. Who is the thief? Harry. He's standing in a room with a bowl of melted chocolate without any protection. He would have a rash if his allergy was real. Another working day at the chocolate factory. Jason decided to prank Freddy and covered a raw chicken egg with a layer of chocolate. Then he wrapped it and put it among real chocolate eggs on a tray. When Jason brought the chocolate eggs, Freddy spotted the fake one immediately. Can you figure it out? The real chocolate eggs are hollow inside, so they were rolling all over the tray when Jason was walking. But the raw egg is heavier, and it didn't move much. Well, Freddy decided to pay Jason back. He dressed up as a ghost to scare him. But suddenly, several real ghosts appeared in the room. Can you figure out which of these ghosts is Freddy? This guy over here, he's the only ghost who is not transparent at all. One evening, the factory was celebrating its anniversary. The management organized a party. All employees participated in a karaoke competition. Most of them all sang incredibly well and received gifts and flowers. But only two of the best singers, Nancy and Betsy, made it to the final. They prepared to face each other in one more round. But suddenly, Betsy fell to the floor, unconscious. Doctors claimed that she had been poisoned. But all the participants of the competition had eaten exactly the same food. Besides, the police checked the dishes, and they were okay. Can you guess what happened? Someone poisoned Betsy's flowers. Next day, Freddy came to work as usual. He looked around and exclaimed, Eh, wait a minute! Who's brought a cat to the chocolate factory? No pets are allowed here! Can you see any animals? Here it is! The cat got scared and ran away to another room. Freddy followed it. Can you spot the cat now? It's hiding over there. And again, Freddy failed to catch the cat. It ran out of the building and hid in the garden. Can you help the guy find the cat? Ah, the poor animal is over there. Freddy caught the cat and found a small note attached to its collar. It had contact information. Freddy called the cat owner, but no one answered the phone. So, after work, Freddy took the cat and went to the address mentioned in the note. It was a creepy castle. The door was locked and required a password. Can you help Freddy crack the code using this hint? The password is rainbow. A gloomy old man greeted Freddy inside the castle. Freddy expected that he would thank him for bringing the cat back. But the old man began to laugh evilly and locked all the ways out. Then he said, If you manage to complete three tasks I give you, you will get a million dollars. But if you fail, you'll stay in my castle forever. 
Here's the first task. Help me find my glasses among all these vegetables. Can you help Freddy? Here they are. The next task from the old man was to cook a potion and do it in the correct order. He gave Freddy this recipe. Can you help the guy? First of all, you gotta put curry. Then go for blueberries to make the potion look greenish. And finally, add tomatoes to make the potion look brown. As for these vegetables, Freddy doesn't need them. And the third task is to find a book in this messy room. Can you see it? It's half hidden inside the sofa. The old man gave Freddy his money, showed him the exit, and disappeared. But when Freddy tried to leave, he realized that the door was locked. It had a combination lock. Freddy found this mysterious note nearby. He has to get this right, or he might stay trapped for a long time. What code will open the door? Two, three, six, one. Each number corresponds to the number of circles in the first set of numbers. Now, Freddy was free to go. As soon as Freddy got out of the creepy castle, he decided to quit his job and go on a trip around the globe. First of all, he took a flight to Spain. On board the plane, he met Gloria. He asked what country she was from. Instead of answering, Gloria showed him this puzzle. Can you guess the country? That's right, she's from Ireland. Then Gloria asked Freddy what country he was from, and he showed her this puzzle. Can you guess his country? Cuba. Freddy landed in Madrid and went for a walk. He hadn't rented any hotel in advance, so he just wandered around the city, searching for a nice place to stay. Suddenly, Freddy noticed this cute little hotel and entered it. Big mistake. Why? See this zombie in the window? This place doesn't look safe. As soon as Freddy entered the creepy hotel, the door slammed behind his back. The guy saw three doors leading to freedom. Venomous spiders were crawling behind the first door. Behind the second door, arrows were flying at head height. And behind the third door, there was a black hole. Which door should Freddy choose? Can you help him escape? He should choose the second door. He can crawl under the arrows. After his adventure, Freddy decided to have lunch in the local cafe. But something's definitely wrong here. Can you figure out what it is? Look at this window. The view of the street is upside down. The waiter came over to Freddy to get his order. But suddenly, a woman at the next table began to shout, Help me! Someone has put cockroaches in my soup! The cafe manager questioned three suspects. The cook said that he had prepared the soup as usual. It was okay when he passed the dish to the waiter. The waiter said he hadn't touched the soup. He just served it to the woman and switched to another client, Freddy. The woman's husband said, I wasn't there when my wife got the soup. I was washing my hands in the bathroom. Can you tell who's guilty? No one. Take a look at the ceiling. The cockroaches crawled out of the ventilation and several of them fell into the lady's soup. Freddy used a special app to rent a luxury apartment in Madrid. He found three options that he really liked. 
Mariana offered a cozy two-story studio with a beautiful view. Diego had a penthouse near a park. And Camilla offered a high-tech villa. Which option should Freddy choose? This penthouse has a cracked glass roof, which is extremely unsafe. As for the third option, see the Eiffel Tower? Camilla's high-tech villa is in Paris, not in Madrid. So, Freddy should choose the first studio. Freddy invited Mariana for a walk in the park. They walked a lot and got very tired. They decided to lie down on the grass and rest. Freddy woke up an hour later. Mariana had disappeared. Freddy started looking for her. Half an hour later, he fell into a big pit. It began to rain. The guy realized that the pit was going to get flooded. That was a big problem. Freddy couldn't swim. He found some stuff in the pit. A rope, a ball, and a bucket. How can Freddy get out? The ball will float up to the surface. And so will Freddy if he holds on to it. Freddy kept looking for Mariana. He came across a wizard's castle. The wizard had caught the girl and turned her into a frog. Freddy had to help her. The guy and the Mariana the frog found the wizard's book of potions. It described all the necessary antidotes. But first, the guys needed to understand which potion the wizard had used on Mariana. Freddy looked through the book. The first recipe included a slice of pumpkin, a slice of green apple, an orange wedge, and half a kiwi. The second recipe required a chamomile petal, three garlic cloves, and half of a red apple. The third potion should contain an orange wedge, a garlic clove, a banana peel, and a chamomile petal. Which potion did the wizard use? Take a look at the ingredients on the shelves. They only match the third recipe. Freddy helped Mariana turn back into a human. The wizard got very angry and teleported Freddy to jail. The guy was desperate. He had no idea how to escape. Suddenly, a creepy man opened the door and said, Come on, I'm going to help you escape. Freddy followed him, but he slipped, fell to the floor, and hit his head. Freddy woke up in a pit. He didn't remember how he got there. If he went to the left, he would end up in the bathroom. If he went to the right, he would have to crawl through a tunnel filled with toxic waste that was leading outside. Which way should he choose? Freddy should go to the right. If he chooses the left corridor, he will end up in jail again. Look, this bathroom is on the territory of the jail. Freddy escaped, took a shower, and called Mariana right away. The wizard picked up the phone and said, I have created enough evil clones of Mariana. <laughs> I don't need her anymore. You can take her home now. Freddy rushed back to the wizard's castle and saw four Marianas. Can you help him find the real girl? This Mariana has claws instead of nails. She looks like a werewolf. This one has very sharp teeth and ears. She's probably a vampire. This lady has scales on her face. She's a mermaid. So the real Mariana is over there. Let's dive right in, shall we? Jane, Emma, and Carla are working out in a gym. One of them isn't being careful enough. Who is it? It's Carla. Look, she's doing exercises while chewing gum. She could accidentally choke on it. Look at Matt and Olivia. They're both cooking dinner. Matt is using a stove, and Olivia is using a grill outside. Which of them is doing something wrong? It's Matt. He forgot to turn the stove on. Nor was a married man, and his wife had a twin sister. 
One day, the twins decided to trick him. They both pretended to be his wife to see if he'd find the right person. Unfortunately, Noor got way too confused. Can you find his real wife? Look at the wedding picture of Noor and his wife. She has a tattoo on her right arm, so his wife must be the woman on the left who also has a tattoo on her right arm. Willem and Sean were caught by the police close to the graffiti that had just appeared on a building. One of them painted it, but both denied doing anything. Who do you think is lying? It was Willem. Look, there's some paint on her hands and shirt. Drake and Thor are both on vacation. Drake is skiing in the mountains with his girlfriend, and Thor is surfing with his best friend. Look at them now. Which one of them is in danger? Drake! He's screaming in the mountains. It's not safe because it can cause an avalanche. Now, let's find some pet owners. For example, look at these three girls. Can you figure out who the cat belongs to? Its owner is the girl on the right. Look at her legs and hands. She has some scratches. Very typical for cat owners. Now, there are three people sitting in the park. See that dog playing there? Who does it belong to? To the guy in the middle. Look, he has a leash. These guys, Ian, Noah, and Luke, are basketball players. They're getting ready for the game in the changing room. Which of them is Noah? It must be this guy. The one who's not wearing shoes. Look, his shoes are in the locker with the name tag Noah. Esme was walking in the forest and got lost. She had been wandering for hours until she came across a witch's house. The witch was busy with a new spell and had a riddle for Esme. If the girl managed to solve it, the witch would let her go. If Esme failed, she'd have to stay with the witch forever. So the witch had six test tubes. The first three were empty, and the last three were full. For the spell, full and empty tubes had to alternate. Esme had to solve this problem, but she could only touch one tube. How can she do it? Esme should take the fifth tube and pour the liquid from it into the second one. A bank was robbed on a Friday evening. There were no customers and no signs of a break-in, which meant it was one of the bank employees. The robbery was discovered by the bank director, Mr. Perry. There were three main suspects, Ms. Cott, Mr. Mendez, and Ms. Morgan. All of them denied being anywhere close to the safe. But one of them lied. Who was it? Pay attention to the footprints. These must belong to Mr. Perry. But there's another pair, which must be heels. Mr. Mendez is wearing sneakers, and Miss Morgan is wearing flats. Miss Cott is the only one wearing heels. The footprints are likely to be hers. So she lied. Mrs. Nichols has four daughters and a son. The oldest daughter's name is April. She's an artist. The second daughter is December. She's into sports. Her third daughter is August, and she's keen on cooking. May is the fourth one, and she likes reading. Their brother Adam is the youngest in the family. How is his name connected to his sister's?
The first letters of the girl's names make up the name Adam. Another family riddle for you. Ava is Bella's sister, Bella is Ella's sister, and Ella is Ruby's mother. Who is Ruby for Ava? If Ava is Bella's sister and Bella is Ella's sister, it seems like the three of them are sisters. Since Ruby is Ella's daughter, then both Ava and Bella are Ruby's aunts. So Ruby is Ava's niece. Take a look at these friends of the beach. Which of them is a robot? It must be this girl. Look, it's very hot outside and everyone is sweating, except her. That's kind of odd. The police also broke into three apartments. In one of them, a robot lives. Can you guess where? Look, there's a lot of machine oil in the bathroom. I'll bet it belongs to the robot. What about this photo? Can you spot a robot here? It's summer, and everyone is wearing shorts and tops. Except for this guy. He's wearing long pants, a long sleeve shirt, and even gloves. He must be hiding his body. I'd say it's him. Here's a photo of people sitting in a cafe. Can you spot a robot here? It must be this lady, since she's not drinking or eating anything. Guess why? Well, robots can't eat human food, obviously. Another peek into some people's houses. One room belongs to a robot, but which one? It must be this one. Look, there's a whole bunch of bolts and spare parts in the wardrobe. Have a look at this group of friends. Can you tell which of them is a robot? It must be this guy. There's some steam and sparks coming from it. Perhaps it's a robot that needs some renovations. Eiko has won a game show, and she can finally get her prize. But there's a catch. One last task. There are three boxes, and she can pick one to take with her. One box is filled with $100 bills. Another box contains 5-cent coins. And the last box has both bills and coins. The boxes look exactly the same, and the girl can't touch any of them. The boxes have labels. Bills on the left one, coins in the middle one, and bills and coins on the right one. All the boxes are labeled wrong. Eiko can't look inside any of the boxes, but she can ask for one sample from any box. What should Eiko's strategy be to identify the box filled with bills only? Since all the boxes are labeled wrong, Eiko should ask for a sample from the bills and coins box. If there's a bill there, then that's the one she needs. She should simply take it. If there's a coin, then it's the box with coins. In that case, the remaining boxes contain bills and bills with coins. And since the labels are incorrect, the one with bills is the one marked with the label coins. The day that is tomorrow for the day after tomorrow is as far away from Wednesday as the day that is yesterday for the day before yesterday. So, what day is it today? The tomorrow for the day after tomorrow and the yesterday for the day before yesterday are exactly three days away from today. If they're equally far away from Wednesday, then today is Wednesday. Meadow loved animals and she decided to get some frogs. 
She talked to her mom about it, and they made a decision. Only one of these three statements is correct. 1. Meadow got at least one frog. 2. Meadow got at least five frogs. 3. Meadow got fewer than five frogs. How many frogs did Meadow get? So, only one statement is correct. If it's the first one, then the other two must be wrong. In this case, she can't get five or more frogs, so it doesn't work. If the second statement is correct, then she has at least five frogs. But then the first statement is automatically correct, too. Let's say the third statement is correct, so she got fewer than five frogs. Automatically, the second statement is wrong. But for the first statement to be wrong, too, she should have got fewer than one frog. So it seems that, after talking to her mom, Meadow got zero frogs. Maybe instead, her mom got her a dog, which would at least rhyme. Welcome to the food festival. Here's Alice. She sells cold drinks. Alice allows her customers to buy one bottle of drink in exchange for five empty bottles. Phil brings her 77 empty bottles that he collected at yesterday's party. How many bottles do you think he can get in exchange for those 77 empty bottles? Bill can get a total of 19 new bottles. First, he returns 75 empty bottles to Alice and gets 15 bottles. At this point, he'll still remain with two empty bottles. When the new 15 bottles of drinks get empty, he can return them as well. This way, he will get three more bottles, and after finishing them, he'll still have a chance to get one more bottle because he has two bottles in stock. Bobby is selling fancy ice cream at a huge discount. That's why he has a rule, only one ice cream per customer. Bobby has only two flavors left, vanilla for one euro and cherry for two euros. Lisa comes over and gives Bobby two euros. Without asking any questions, Bobby gives her cherry ice cream. Next, Amy gives him two euros, but this time Bobby asks, cherry or vanilla? Why? Lisa bought a couple of 1 euro coins. This indicates that she wanted to buy cherry flavor. If she needed vanilla ice cream, she would have paid just 1 euro. Meanwhile, Amy put only one single 2 euro coin. That's why Bobby couldn't guess how many ice creams she wanted. Jerry is selling sandwiches. There are four available flavors, but only one of them is safe to eat. Can you spot which one? There's a cute little worm inside the first sandwich. The third one has a Lego detail inside its topic. And there are too many flies around the fourth sandwich, so it's probably rotten. But the second sandwich looks pretty good. The police arrested these three ladies suspected of stealing money at the festival. Take a look at them very attentively. Can you spot the one who intends to escape? The second lady is holding a file under her headscarf. She's probably the one who plans to escape. The food festival hosts a legendary pastry competition every year. Its 14th and 16th champions have the same father, and their mother is also the same. Both champions were born on the same day and time, but they are not twins. None of them were adopted, and both are females. How is that possible? They are the same person. And now let's see if you can make a good food critic. Can you spot anything weird about these cakes? This one is mirrored. 
How about these delicious cakes? Can you see any odd details? This cake lacks one cherry. Bill and Wendy are having their first date at the food festival. They buy delicious fresh papaya and they take a seat in the food court to enjoy it. The papaya tastes sweet and delicious. Each of them eats two pieces. 10 minutes later, Bill gets sick. Wendy takes him to the hospital. Doctors claim that the papaya was poisoned. Bill and Wendy ate the same food and also drank the same drinks. How is it possible that Wendy feels well? The poison was in the seeds. Wendy threw them away while Bill ate them all. Alex is observing a sitting lady, but he can't sit at her place if she stands up and leaves. Where is she sitting? The lady is sitting on his lap. Let's move on to the pizza shop. Can you solve this tricky sequence? Every segment in the new circle moves 90 degrees clockwise, so the third answer is correct. There are three odd things about this coffee shop. Can you spot them? The barista has two left hands. The reflection in this mirror shows everything upside down. And finally, this customer doesn't have a shadow. Miss White is the key investor of the festival. In the evening, one of the guests finds her unconscious in the backyard of the festival location. Detective Jones arrives at the crime scene and questions five of Miss White's co-workers, Bobby, James, Sally, Sam, and Sebastian. He also looks around and finds three notes. The first note is in the storeroom. The second one is in the art lounge and the third in the makeup room. All the notes have a similar message. The clues are where you find the notes. Can you help Detective Jones solve this mystery? Sam is the criminal. Let's take a look at the rooms. If we take only the first letter of each room, we'll get S, A, and M. Arrange the letters and we'll have the name Sam. Diana buys a chocolate cake and leaves it on the table in the food court to go buy some drinks. Then she comes back and sees that the cake is gone. She questions three people standing nearby. Henry says, I didn't do it, I'm on a sugar-free diet. Miss Green replies, I'm allergic, young lady. I haven't been eating chocolate for 30 years now. And Kelly says, I'm sorry, but when I came over, this table was empty, so I occupied it. I didn't see any cakes. Who's lying? Miss Green lied about her allergy. She's drinking hot chocolate at this very moment. This evening, Mike plans to go to the movies with his friends, Mia, Dan, and Crystal. He buys a huge box of popcorn at the festival. Then, Mike puts it on the table and tells everyone. The film is about to start in 15 minutes. I have the time to go to the bathroom. Wait here and don't eat the popcorn until the movie starts. In a couple of minutes, Mike comes back and sees that the popcorn box is half empty. Mia says, it was Crystal. Dan replies, she's lying. And Crystal says, Dan is lying. Can you figure out who ate the popcorn? Dan. He's the only one who has popcorn crumbs on his cheek. Meanwhile, Jennifer is drinking her tea alone on the opposite side of the food court. Suddenly, she gets a business call and goes outside to answer, leaving her glass on the table. 
A minute later, Jennifer comes back and gets very upset. Someone drank all the tea from her glass. There are three people standing next to the table. Can you figure out who's guilty? This woman in the middle, she left a mark of her purple lipstick on the cup. Can you spot a left-handed person among these five people? It's the barista. She's holding a tray with her right hand in a static position. Meanwhile, she's serving the drinks with her left hand, so she's most likely the left-handed person. Marta is making a fruit drink. The recipe comprises 90% of liquid and 10% of solid fruit mix. The total weight of the mixture is 20 pounds. After boiling the drink for a while, Marta notices that the liquid starts to evaporate. Now, the liquid comprises just 50% of the total weight. What's the weight of the drink now? Initially, the liquid occupied 90% of the overall mix, which is 18 pounds, and the weight of the solid was 2 pounds. Earlier, the solid contributed 10%, and now it's contributing 50% of the overall weight, but its weight is still 2 pounds. Therefore, since the liquid is now contributing 50%, its weight should also be 2 pounds. So the overall weight of Marta's fruit drink is 4 pounds. Diana, Frank, and Quentin cook pasta. They start boiling water in three identical pots at the same time, but Frank's water gets boiled first. Can you figure out why? He's the only one who closed the lid. And finally, let's take a look inside the food warehouse. Do you see anything weird? The cabbage has eyes. 